Welcome guys to another episode of Craftsman Fishing Well guys, we're coming to fishing around the lake uh, I know it's freezing temperatures, we are around 18, 17, 16, something like that So let me check very well I'm gonna try to keep it fishing here, but <laughs> let's see how it goes Actually guys, say uh, it is 18 degrees Let me update it, let me see I'll tell you right now guys Actually temperature it is, yep, 18 degrees, you guys. It's around 138. The storm is gonna hit soon, around four, five. It's gonna be a storm like a four or five inches of snow. And let's see, guys, I'm just gonna go try fishing a little bit here. I know part of the lake are freezing all the way through. I was coming to check it out, really. If nothing happened here, guys, I'm gonna go to the creek to see if I can catch another kind of fish. Actually, guys, coming here, guys, to not be boring in the house. And see how it goes tomorrow about, about work, so let's go, let's go. I don't know guys if I love myself more or what, but all this lake is freezing. All the way through freezing, so I don't know I'm gonna be able to fish in here. I'm coming actually for the uh, crappie. There's under that tree over there. So, eh, let's see. I don't know guys, this, this look tricky. Let's see how the casting doing. I know it's, uh, it is. I don't want to pull bait, nothing. I'm just going to try to see what's going on. Everything is really, really, really freeze. Maybe because not really deep. Let's see if. Oh, guys, that's funny. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's what happens when you want to come into fishing here. Yeah, right there is uh, water. <laughs> Let me try again. That's funny. Yeah, sounds interesting. You can hear that? <laughs> Let me throw some stones and see how it goes, guys. That is really funny, guys. But well, I just coming to check it out, really, to see what's going on. I'm gonna go around the lake, maybe I found some spots that are free or ice, and see how it goes. I'm gonna go around the lake and see what's going on. <laughs> the bad thing, guys, is the uh, temperature is really low, but this ice is not really go through to even walk in the ice. So, anyways, <laughs> got a really good thing, guys, to you know. Uh, just being around, you know, uh, lake is right. I found a lure, guys. That's how I get my big lures on this, guys. So, eh, it's a big plus. You can find stuff like this, so, you know. So, when I put it here, it's what I've been my thing, really. And the uh, time that I know I can get nothing else, so that's what I do, guys. So, I bring stuff like this and put it here and got a new lure. And you can find a lot of lures here, guys. It's like oh dude, what is this oh that this like a deer like a deer uh like a deer hair guys here maybe some deer died here a long time ago something like that that is weird that's deer hair yeah that's weird guys i never see it before that maybe some deer died here a long time ago and you know and the body was dragging around here so anyways i found the lure guys I'm gonna keep going, you know, looking around, see what more I can find. That's really nice, guys. Whoa! <laughs> I must spill everything. I forgot to close it. So, okay, guys, so that's a big plus right there. I'm gonna be walking around. That was gonna be effective when I go on fishing for uh, striped bass. Eh, just like I said, mapping. Let's map it more here. Because I remember this, guys. Every fisherman that I know, the experience and the time they got, it's not about just going and throwing stuff in the water. You have to research. You have to investigate it. You have to know what you're doing. It's not like you're throwing bait and you want to get a fish, like nothing. If you want to be a good fisherman, research, find a uh, behavior of fish, what they eat, fi what the fish eat. Oh, look, a shell, very nice. And investigate it, that's the way, guys. You have to spend time in nature to understand behaviors. If you don't understand behaviors, guys, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you're wasting time just buying bait and trying to be something that something that you want to do and you don't do it right. So that's all I can say. So okay, guys, let's go, let's go. This stone right here, guys, is perfect simple, guys. What we're talking about? Fish, they like guys very uh, different uh, structures. There's a perfect structure for bass. And even for bluegills, and even for uh, sometimes you know crappie. So 
when you're fishing for the shore guys and you turn you you bobber here i'm pretty sure guys you're gonna get a fish because they like the structure like that to defend themselves by all the predators or they are looking for like a hunting spot so that's what they do so that's what i can tell guys that's the one spot that i'm going to show you when you're walking around the lake that you know it's, it's like a dry and like this don't miss the, the opportunity to research and looking around to figure out you know fish spot so Let's hey go. guys deer track beautiful perfect yep deer track i'll tell you some deer here i'm gonna try it's snowing more hard right now i'm gonna try here remember guys if you give it like a three to four foot line always look behind you this is the technique that i got guys i got it like this to the side throw it right there and then bring it slowly i got a uh, gold mino green color natural flavor let's see Maybe I got something there. I'm going to bring it slowly. If I'm nothing there, I will, I will throw again. Let's see. Maybe something want to buy. Maybe not. Like I said, it's mapping here, guys. I'm going to come back home soon. If I... If the right thing is time to go. Let's see. nothing there so let's throw over there again like i said guys this technique right this you put it to the side put it down and throw it like that why do it like that because it's many branches if i try to put it the other way it's, it's gonna get like a tango i'm gonna try to it's a log right there guys in the middle i don't know if you can see it i try to do close to the that because i don't know how deep it is and where and what's going on there really Maybe it can be crappy there, maybe not. I was trying to figure out if a crappy buy in the winter. They said yes. My wife said yes, they buy in the winter, but I never catch one. Let's try again. Now, I'm gonna try to put it close to the branch. That's the last cast I'm gonna do. Right there, yeah, on, on the top of the uh, branch. I'm gonna bring it slowly. Give it a couple taps right there. Let's see what's going on. Nothing there. Try to bring this fast. Go over, let it let it go down. Bring it slowly again. Cause some crappy lights, light drama. Nothing there, guys. So fish is not willing to bite. I can't believe it, guys. For less than uh, what? Less than an hour? For like a most quarter inch of snow. And it's gonna be like this, I think. On the five or six, I think, not sure. So it's gonna maybe we're gonna have like a three or four inches, no more than that. But if we're going if we're going bigger than that, I'm not gonna be surprised for real. Winter here can be weird too. So I'm gonna try to cross here where the stone is. I'm not gonna make this any mistake that, that I make over there, and so I get so wet. So eh. Let's go here. I don't find more lures, I don't find more, I found one barber, two lures, and that's it. That's not really bad. See, it's zero fish. So let's go, let's go. Let's see if I, I wait in the car a little bit, warm up myself, and go fishing on the uh, creek or not. Everything depends, guys. I don't know. And I see a very nice barber over there, guys. Let me see if I, if, let me see if, let me see if I can get it. I think it's a light bobber. Hey guys, first cast on the cross of the bridge. So let's go, let's go. Let's see how it goes there, guys. We got a small mino. If I don't work, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a worm, okay? I know it's a lot of brown trout here, guys. So, nothing there. Eh. Eh. Let's see. We're getting over there. Let's see.
<laughs> Nothing there, guys. I'm gonna change it soon, guys, to for the uh, worm. And then I'm gonna go under the cordon over there to see what's going on. Oh, something by, guys. Something by, something by, something by. Had to be throw here. Let me throw it again. Sense, sense pad. But something try to get it. For sure. Hmm. One bite. That's all. One bite, guys. That's all. <laughs> so I did bite. That was that was a trial. I'm hundred percent sure about that. Because trial like to buy stuff like that, we know, and the ripples. Let me see again, right there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, guys, let's try the worm inside this minnow. One or not, guys. Worm the most effective way for get a fish. Well. When they want to bite, really. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. I don't want to make more water in my wife, so. Eh, let's just try the worm. Try over there, under there, and let's go, let's go. I'm still crazy, for real. I can't wait tomorrow. I can't wait for the next weekend. But no, I have to come in fishing. <laughs> I'm addicted to fishing, guys. If I was living like... Close to the uh, northwest, I'm gonna be fishing every day. I promise that. Okay, I'm gonna let it go slowly. Let it go slowly. Let me see if I bobber down. Nothing there. Nothing there, guys. Let me make my line a little more longer. You know what, guys? The bat sailing is working effectively because I don't got no tango, I don't got no ice freeze, you know, in my in my fishing pole, like you can see. I don't got nothing of that. Because the bat sailing work, like I said, like I repel the water and stuff. And you know what, guys? I'm maybe not gonna catch nothing because there's a lot of ice flow, flow, flowing down right now. So, eh. Doesn't matter to me really. Ooh, that was a bite. I know guys, that's a bite. When you see the bubble going down fast, that's a bite. When you get stuck you know, in the middle, that's, a, that's another thing. I'm pretty sure over there is fish. But what I got in my... Ooh, that was a bite, that was a bite, that was a bite. Let it, let it have it, let it have it, let it have it. Yeah, guys, that was a bite. Let me see. I still got my worm. Yep. Maybe four fish, guys. Right there. Okay. Few more tries, and then I'm gonna go down from the thing right there. 